Hello and welcome back to my channel here on YouTube. So today I'm in my Defender 90 and I'm going to be fitting a brand new headliner to the rear of my Defender. I'm going to be fitting closed cell foam insulation and a new headliner from LaSalle Interiors. So if you're interested in seeing how that is done, or in my case probably not done, stick around for this video. This is what we're currently dealing with. I have a normal factory headliner at the front and then at the back it is just this bare sheet in aluminium. A couple of strips of silent coat that I've put in um, over the time to try and reduce the vibration but it still vibrates a lot and it gets condensation on a lot during the uh, winter months so looking at putting a brand new headline on this but first we're going to use some closed cell foam insulation I've got a new box fit right here open that up and let's get fitting this and seeing how it goes after that we're going to be then fitting the interior itself um, as you can see it's GRP, um, it's quite firm, it's very different to the normal headliner, but I think it's gonna look really good. It's, this is a, a brand new piece I actually got off someone off YouTube that messaged me called Chris, said, do I want the rear bit for a 90 with no Alpine lights because mine doesn't have any? I said, yes, he sent it to me, it's brilliant. So let's get fitting this with the closed cell foam insulation. Now, if this is the first time you've met my Defender 90 and you're new to the channel, please subscribe, like this video and leave me a comment of what you think in the box below. My Defender 90 here, I've done loads to it on YouTube. I've cut out the rear windows, I've fitted a new radiator, I've fitted a new intercooler, I've had it remapped, and a lot of the work I've actually done myself. So I'm no mechanic by any stretch of the imagination, but I've documented my whole journey of learning and doing that here on YouTube. So go check out my other videos if you're interested in that. Sometimes it goes well, and if you're not new to the channel, you'll know sometimes it doesn't go that well at all. But let's carry on with today's video and get this headliner fitted. So this is some new closed cell phone insulation that I've ordered and I uh, bought this from Silent Coat. Haven't opened it yet, so just checking out what it looks like. Um, it's a pretty good, pretty beefy actually. I do have some dodo matting as well I've used in the rest of the car. It's not quite as thick. I think this is 10 mil, this stuff. Um, and this is what I'm gonna be using. I've got two sheets of it. I'll put the link of where I got this from in the comments below, but I'm gonna be using this on the roof uh, alongside the dodo matting, just to help give a bit more um, insulation, stop the condensation, also stop the vibration before then fitting our headliner. This is not going to be the easiest thing to do at all, but let me show you the front headliner. So this is the standard factory defend headliner. It's like a fabric covered headliner. This is already fitted on the car. Now with the LaSalle interiors, they say they should get a full one for front and back. I think it all fits a bit better. I don't know how this one's going to fit in, but I'm going to try and maybe cut it out or slide it under these gaps so it does work. But that's what I'm working with today. So I'm going to start by putting this silent coat on. I don't have any more of this this kind of silent coat. I can't remember what it's called, but this is quite good. And I put a few strips of it here and there just to stop the vibration, which it has done. But I'm just going to be sticking the foam straight over the top in this case. And let's see how that goes. So although the silent coat is really sticky, and we're obviously going to alcohol clean all the all the roof. Um, this is I've had this before. It's horrible stuff when you do actually get it off. It really does stick quite well. I'm also going to be using some trim fix adhesive too, just to get that extra bit of a bond on the on the roof this is also high heat resistance adhesive and that means that this will stay on even when the roof gets really hot which it will because it's black on the outside and also if it gets condensation i don't want this coming off when i put my new headliner on and potentially i think i haven't got it out yet properly but i think i'm gonna have to screw it in as well into some of these um the, the battens in the roof so i really don't want this coming off when it gets hot or when it gets damp so i'm gonna be using some of this too and this is stuff you really really don't want to get in your mouth or breathe it in in general so we're going to be really careful when we're spraying that on today not smell good that with this spray in general i always think it's good to leave it for a little bit let it start getting a bit more tacky before you then just chuck this straight on i learned that when i was doing the um Exmo trim carpeting in the front feels already so much better so that is the first sheet on as you can see what it is i worked along that center beam got to there i'm going to put a little bit of dodo matting on the side that i can cut out because i've got some excess areas but you can already tell how much better that is I've fitted that to both sides now you can see sounds pretty good I've got these little bit of extras uh, that I haven't managed to get enough silent coat lining for but I do have this dodo matting and I'm going to be cutting a little bit of that out today 
to fit those little gaps and just fill it in a little bit because I think that'll make a difference even though it is a lot better actually even standing like that so I'm gonna cut that out and stick that on the same kind of thing it's a little bit thinner this stuff but I still think it will do a good job during this video you're probably thinking what the hell is he doing with all this because this looks like a complete mess and you're right it does I put some styling cut on there but I do need to get all that sorted and um, I have rubber rubber matted and actually insulated a lot of the back of the car but I've got this bag of carpet that's been traveling around in my car for months now that I need to finally get around to sorting so that's gonna be the next job around the window frames I may even get some plastic trims I think you can buy but these aren't standard windows so I'm not sure if they're going to be able to uh, to fit if you know anything about that about fitting the trims around the windows and making this look a bit more like a station wagon a bit more comfortable in the back drop me a comment in the box below I'd be really interested to know your thoughts so it's not the neatest job but to be honest it does the job and it fits in there quite well definitely makes a difference um, on that bit of metal so that's the first bit fitted so I've now put in the insulation I've just sort of like jigsawed it into different places but it's definitely made a difference I'm quite happy with that now to start putting the um the actual roof liner on the headliner this is kind of how the new headliner fits it's got these little holes in which I think you've got to put self-tapping screws into the steel but as you can see it doesn't go with the old headliner so I'm going to take that front headliner out and take a look we're going to take this and we're going to start taking some of those fern tips out of the front headliner so here here and if you see can't just see over there, but this is how I'm going to use this to take these off. So I've taken all the front headliner off now, all the fern clips, so it's hanging down. As you can see, it's not, it looks all right, but it's not in the best condition. I think if I take it down and put it up any more times, it's not going to last very well. But this is where the, um, the new headliner screws into, into this baton here. I'm actually going to screw it all from here, so it all holds it together, which I think will be a better idea for this. The headliner held up now, as you can see, it's got little holes in here all the way around the back and they just screw into the metal on the side with little self-tapping screws so let's see how that goes it'll meet in the middle and it's looking pretty good already we are starting to put this headliner in now and i've used these little self-tapping screws the little plastic washers and um what i've done is i've used a drill to just pilot hole the um the, the metal because that need to be done before you can put the screw in and then just use an impact wrench to actually get the rest in and it's going quite well to be fair it's held up now i've just got to get a bit more support on here but it looks pretty good the first screw so i've got rid of the fern clips just put a screw straight in there with a wash on it and that's held all that pretty well actually i'm pretty pleased with how it's turned out so it's coming together quite well one thing to know about this if you do have and you're fitting this to try and realize is one side slides under the other and fits and it should close together in the middle which it has done up there but not so much down here so i'm trying to work out why that is but i will try and adjust that as much as i can I've got this piece of trim as well, which goes on the back, which I'm going to put on now. Okay. So guys, just finished putting the headliner in now. You can see the little screw rivets all down the side. It looks really, really good. I'm really pleased with it. I managed to get that line sealed. There's a little overlap at the back here that I managed to fix. But overall, really pleased with how that's gone on. There's also a trim here too, across the back, which I've put in too. So got a headliner in the back of my Defender 90 and already when you're inside of it feels so much more warmer and less echo inside the back of the car so perfect 